Hey guys, it's Rohan Shah here. I was recently named the 2018 National Tutor of the Year, and I'm here to tell you about the exciting new SAT Math Adaptive Learning Platform that my team and I at Diagnostics Learning have created for you. Math is scary for most people, and the SAT has 11 years worth of math that you only really have a couple months to prepare for. The key is to not review 11 years worth of math. You have limited time. Rather than spending a lot of time watching videos on stuff that you already know, and then barely having time to watch videos on stuff that you actually need help on, you need a way to pinpoint those weak areas. Out of your 11 years of learning math, you gotta find your biggest gaps in knowledge and work on those first. That's how you get the highest possible score boost in the lowest possible time. Well, my company's new adaptive learning platform helps you do exactly that. Signing up on Diagnostics.com is easy, and you can begin using it instantly. If you haven't taken a practice test already, you can start by taking one here in Module 0. This way you get a benchmark score out of 800, and then you can track your progress in the coming weeks from there. The main thing in each module are the practice sets. When you click on one, the first thing that you'll see is an introductory video. Now this is really important because this, you know, short 4-5 or five minute video really goes over the most used formulas and concepts and tricks on the exams. Once you watch that, the real thing begins when you click on Start Learning. To get the most out of this practice, make sure that you have some paper out and that you're writing and really giving these a good attempt. Notice that because this is still practice mode, there's always an I'm not sure option. It's like you're with a real tutor, where if you don't know, the tutor can go over it. Not only is there a video explanation, but also a text version of it. The key is that this is adaptive, so the questions you end up seeing are based on what you're getting wrong, so that way you're getting more practice on your weakest areas. Now you might spend a half hour on a practice set, and you might spend two hours on a practice set. It totally depends on which questions you're getting right and wrong, so again, take your time, take some notes, and really just take ownership over this process. There's also some FAQs to go through for each module. There's also some notes over here that you can use for reviewing in addition to the notes that you might have written out during the practice problems. The key is that at the end of each module, whether it takes you one week or two weeks or three weeks to finish this, is that there's a practice exam. Now you do have to finish this test in one sitting, and of course you don't get immediate feedback after each question. Again, it simulates the real exam. Once you're done with it, what you'll do is you will score the exam, and then you'll get a number out of 800. You should be able to see your exam score and percentile here when you're done. The goal is to rinse and repeat and to do this after each module and see your score rise. You can go through all these modules in three weeks or six weeks or three months. Really go at your own pace. Ultimately, this is for you. Don't do it for your parents or your teachers. Take that ownership and initiative and do it for yourself. It's a chance to show yourself what you've learned week to week as you go through the modules and take practice tests. So feel free to reach out if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions. Thanks for watching, good luck, and happy learning.